shooting stars. Good morning. Tone live. Yo, yo, yo. Let it be known, Mac, no force of beat the home. Sitting on milk crates, dollar sound playing the role. Big bang, take little bank on the cash route. Keep running your mouth, I'ma knock your fucking teeth out. Yo. It's big dog, trailblazer, all haters get die slow. Mixing up the flow like cold water, pyro. Serving them up, smoke the scene, hydro. Eating up beef like corner store. Hey. Now you know, I left my stand. Guess what you're listening to? Prime prolific. Tone live. And none other than friend to the show, Rich Mahogany. This is Tommy C, and you're listening to the best of a shot from the point. Welcome aboard. Rich Mahogany was really instrumental in helping us, loaning us his music so we could play it on a segment that we called Artist of the Week, where we played unsigned acts. Pretty much wherever we could get them, no matter where where you were from, whether it would be Europe, Jersey. Uh, most of the stuff did come from Jersey. Played some work I did back in the early 2000s with my old band. And uh, well, listen to these talented bastards. Oh. failed it had nothing to do with the artist it had everything to do with it just didn't work for a hockey show um, but we appreciate it. and this is my tribute to those artists especially Rich Mahogany that were kind enough to lend us their blood and sweat and if you don't think that's what it takes to make something like this you've never been in a studio and you'll never know it's easy to criticize just like the punk bullies that we're about to take on right now on Shop in the Point. See, this is the best of the best of the Shop in the Point, especially the minus episodes. We go after some guys that started busting my chops about the Rangers losing the Eastern Conference final. Of course, it kind of blows up in their face. And when it blows up in their face, they take it to the next level, and then we up seven levels and take them out. Because that's what we do. You saw how we took out Ryan Lampert this year. You, call, you saw what kind of people these bullies are. And the cowards. And uh, they usually, when they're invited on, they just up and run away. Run away! Run away. I like listening to this music. It makes me think of, what do they call that show? Bully Beatdown? Well, this is a bully slap shot, bitch. Slap, vibe. You know what? Maybe I'm listening to too much of this music. I'm starting to think I'm all down and shit. <laughs> I'm not. But I know who's good hip hop when I hear it. And that's Rich Mahogany and his uh, colleagues, as we'd say here in Germany. Prime prolific. Tone lift. Check this beat out. And check this bully beat down. Only to go to overtime with three minutes in to drop the Eastern Conference to Martin Brodeur and the New Jersey Devils. This is a painful day for most Ranger fans all over the world because it is a worldwide football team. The Devils will meet the Los Angeles Kings. And I hope they get swept, Devin on Dave. Man, that sounded like an obituary, my friend. That was what well, it was, in a sense. I mean, it really was. Uh, I'll tell you this, man. Before we get into anything crazy here, mm. for not being a Rangers or a Devils fan, sure. that was fucking enter- or freaking entertaining. Man, I'm trying to watch the F-bombs. It's, um, yeah, watch those F-bombs. Because trying. The FCC's watching us. FCC's watching. Well, let me tell you something. The FCC would like to watch us if they could, believe me. Probably. I'm, sh- I'm sure I could have... Hans of the German and FCC standing right next to me if you could. <laughs> the way things are going on the internet, the Germans yeah. are cornering it. But that's another story for another time. That's we another, have... yeah, we, that could be a whole show in itself. Yeah, well, we might even touch on that one day. But as far as the uh, New York Rangers go, 
And yeah, I'm sorry, and, brother. In one way, I'm relieved. Uh, I don't like getting the best or jerk off or, or what have you. So in this next coming series, and I disagree with some of the facts. I think a New Jersey King series is going to be exciting. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, I only hope for the best. Uh, I wish both teams luck. I'm not rooting for the Devils. Sorry. <laughs> I wish them the best. And uh, it's going to be an interesting series. And uh, I'll be able to concentrate on hockey and become a better sportscaster rather than living and dying with my own team. Uh, so, you know what? Yeah. Damn all that. Damn yeah. all that. Damn everybody who's giving you any shit. Damn all of that. And I'll tell you what. You're a Rangers fan. There's sure. nothing wrong with it. We're not getting paid. You mourn how you want to mourn. Don't don't let anybody tell you about being biased and all that crap. We're not on NBC. Sure. This is this is your show. Frenchie you, McFrenchman's on NBC. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I'll, I'm, you be upset as you want to be. Did and you, you know what? I'll I, I'm here for you, man. I'll be good. Then I'm gonna bet and cry. And I'm gonna I'm start here. with Frenchie McFrenchman. Early <laughs> on. Early on in the first period, when the Rangers are getting shellacked by the Devils, French yeah, McFenman okay. made his unbelievably biased comment. The guy that's not supposed to be biased, the guy that doesn't have a stupid podcast. He <laughs> said the Rangers took their second penalty in the period after the second goal. So, well, Eddie and Doc, this is not the way to get back into a game by taking a penalty. No shit, Sherlock. No <laughs> shit. I mean, did he say one? positive thing the entire series. And he didn't do it in the last one either. And I hope to God they go with the other guy on that bench. I don't even like a reporter in the bench. Doesn't even, I don't even, you get the inside. No, you get his interpretation. He obviously hates the Rangers. Yeah. Which I don't really care. I'm sure Doc Emmerich hates the Rangers too. But he didn't show it because he's a pro. He's a pro. And Frenchie McFrenchman is a rich, snot-nosed kid from New Jersey that stood behind the Pittsburgh Penguin beds in 1992 and won. <laughs> and I'm tired of him. And I hope he's gone. And he's not that good. I'd rather listen to Glenn Healy. In fact, you know what? I'll tell you something. If that Frenchie McFrenchman's on, I'm going to switch my uh, broadcast, which I have the full right to do over here in Germany, to Hockey Night in Canada so I can listen to those buffoons. There the only go. problem is I can't watch Don Cherry in between pairs, which is rough. I should be allowed to. Yeah. So what did you think of the game, Dick? It was exciting, man. I think it was a lot more exciting for me not being a fan and not being invested emotionally in this game. It was a great game to watch. Uh, I, I I didn't catch all of it. I watched the entire third period and all of overtime, and it was really phenomenal. Um, it just I, I think the thing that struck me the most was just how the play in the third period just was non-stop. Yeah. I mean, the Rangers expended every ounce of energy they had left, it seemed. And they, Brodeur was just a freaking lockbox in that period. Absolutely. It was, I just, it, just a, what an incredible period. That was a great period of hockey. It was a lot of fun to watch. Very exciting. Hitting was picked up. And it's just, you know, it, it's a shame. I, I really wanted to see this go seven. And, uh, it would have been nice. I, it would have been nice. It would have been nice. But if you saw late in the second, the Rangers, uh, there was a, I remember was screaming on the couch. By the way, if you hear snoring, that's my girlfriend. She's been asleep <laughs> since the first period. You should, you should stick the microphone in her face and let's, let's catch some of that magic. If I could stretch it that far, I probably would. That's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> she, I don't even know what that means right there, but hey, I'm, I'm, del good. I'm delirious with, with fatigue. <laughs> you and me both, brother. No, if you can see, they couldn't. Uh, I was just yelling, and ice the puck, ice the puck, and I realized they couldn't. Yeah. They couldn't ice the puck in the, in the third because they were that tired. And the Rangers put the pressure on. They needed to beat the Devils. And like I said, it's a regular season game. They win. Yeah. And uh, they couldn't find a way to do that um, because of exhaustion. And they had simply played too many games, too many overtimes. And their style of play leads them to be more exhausted because they have to constantly be defensive. They have to constantly get back. And take shots. And that has a physical wear. If the Rangers were to win this series, it would have been nothing short of a miracle. They got lucky in the last series, which we covered. They got yeah. extremely lucky in certain they spots. Did. They did. They really did. And I think it is fair to say that the better team won this series. They weren't much better, but because well, yeah, they played better. Could, be, could uh, I have been more gracious under the circumstances? Now, you heard me. I wish Marty Brodeur and the Devils the best of luck. 
in the Stanley Cup final. They beat my Rangers fair and square and what have you. So I criticized my team, wish them the best luck, but let everybody know that I'd probably be rooting for the Kings. Pretty gracious, pretty gracious. So that did not stem the trolls. Now, not that I wanted to. I just, uh, I was actually hoping people would write me. I didn't expect it, but when I saw it, I thought to myself, well, this is some good way to make some controversy mess with people because, um, well, they're dumb. I'm not devil fans, but, I mean, these devil fans, they're dumb. They're stupid. You know, they're like Ryan Lampert. You know, a lot of talk when you want to show up and fight and kind of just walk the other way, even verbally. These smart guys. So they gave me a gift. I think it was the uh, best bit or segment of A Shot from the Point, the minus episodes in the 2012 playoffs going into the Stanley Cup Finals. Please take a listen and let me know what you think because this is the best of the shot from the point. Yeah. I mean, I miss those days. Uh, I don't. If anybody would like to contribute to Let's Get Dave Back on World of Warcraft Foundation, I will take donations. Would you? Would you? Well, I'll put a link for it at the bottom of the page. I'm poor. I don't care. I'll tell the world. What do you need to be playing World of Warcraft for? Because I'm fat and nerdy, and I feel that's where I belong. It's my mecca. Right, point taken. There you don't go. judge me. Don't judge me, monkey. Okay. Oh, we got fan mail. We got fan mail, and yeah, I'm man, excited I'm about so it. excited about it. So, uh, I think it was Friday. We put our last... Uh, podcast and i think i was gracious enough to you know do one right after the rangers won which i, was... I just i don't understand this at all it's great <laughs> god love trolls yeah i suppose and i uh the first one i got which i i was <laughs> going to completely uh ignore uh the first one says i'll tell you what mourn how you mourn i guess he meant to say i tell you what to mourn how to mourn i don't I know whatever. It, yeah sure well you know when, when you're you know when you're brain dead it's tough to write um, you can make all the funny voices that you want, but your podcast is garbage, just like your New York team. Make like a tree and get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Wow, Biff. <laughs> that's just that's fantastic. And uh, uh, I can make a writing on the internet, and so now I'm going to comment on a podcast. <laughs> let, let, let's, all right, all right. This, Holy this, shit. Here's, here's the guy that's going to make me warn. Let, let's, I, I like to check his, his music collection out. Uh, first of all, he he's really into the Kelly. Oz- I, mean, I love Ozzy. You love Ozzy? Oh, of course. How many times have you heard the Kelly Osbourne version of "Changes" with Ozzy? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the one time. Yeah, uh, yeah, and that was it, right? Well, it gets yeah, better. Yeah, and I wanted to like rip my fucking ears out of my head. Yeah, yeah it's better. Um, he uh, he has the uh, Kate and uh, who's that other? Uh, the, who's the? I never remember their name. The, the William. The, the Kate and William. Yeah, great people. I I, mean, I don't know anything about them. They they seem very nice and beautiful to me. And, Very uh, British and he, regal. He was listening. He was checking out the popular new. Well, he favorited this. The popular new wedding song, "Dreams Come True," uh, <laughs> um, for for uh, Kate and William. This is the guy that's going to come over and make me mourn. You know, he's gonna he's gonna make you mourn. He's gonna slap um, you with a save with the a, world tonight cover with uh, Colin McLaughlin. <laughs> this guy's gonna. Oh, Adele. There's yeah. That's hardcore. Well, you know he's probably in pain then. Oh, Dal. Yeah. He knows heartbreak. You know, let me tell you something. Um, back in Jers, let me tell you something. Your YouTube page is gayed up like an eight-year-old girl's notebook with a Hello Kitty sticker. That's so your, cute. You know what? And, and you're not really even too much worth talking to because you don't aggravate me because I know, I know who you are. I grew up with you, Mr. Back in Jers, because that's where I'm from. I'm, I'm back in Jers. You got a Napoleon complex, and, uh, you know, you can't, you know, the fact of the matter is, you know, it doesn't matter how many Stanley Cups you win. Um, the uh, the Star Ledger will probably print more about the Rangers. Pepe. Yeah. You know, the, the, uh, the Star Ledger will print more about the Rangers' loss than uh, any Stanley Cup victory. And I just make you nuts. And you know what? It's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. I know it's not fair. It's really not fair. But you know what? It is the way it is. And here's the reason. There's too many teams in the New York area. That's why. And I'm sorry you have a Napoleon complex. I'm kind of sorry you can't get over it. There's too uh, many teams in the New York area, and you simply picked the wrong one. Yeah, you should be a Ranger get fan. Over it. You should, get over it. You can be a Ranger fan. You can, I'll take it. Okay, you know what? Because apparently everybody's being a Ranger fan. Because one of the reasons I'm not a Devil fan is because you had the Paper Sports Channel when I was a kid, and the Devil fans were exclusionary. They were like the, the highbrow fans, but they really were just guys with Napoleon contest, uh, complexes that hated the Rangers. So I went to the team that was like kind of more accepting, you know? 
And uh, all three of your Stanley Cups doesn't compare to the story of my Stanley Cup. So uh, win five more. Hope you win this one. Good luck. Jerk off. And uh, <laughs> this is um, this is the other guy. This guy really got on my nerves. Um, yeah. This is the this, better this, one. This, 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 is, this, this, this is an attack on my character. The other guy is just saying, I suck, you suck. Okay, he's a troll. This guy, it was, I, I'm not going as far to call this guy a troll. But um, this, this is unbelievable to me. This actually did piss me off. Congratulations, troll. You pissed me off. Um, he's commenting on my, my last podcast. All right. The better team won. Wouldn't you say that was pretty obvious? Yeah. It's the Edmonton Oilers, Mr. Bees, Mr. Macker Bees, whatever the hell your name is. Macker B's 14. Wouldn't you say the, it was pretty obvious? No, you know what? I think, the, I think the Devils were the better team. Not by much. And you know what? You got a 40-year-old goaltender. 40 Read the entire thing so it's, so it's taken in context. Okay. All right, all right. Because, because I, don't, I don't want everybody so, out there sure. to think that – because this guy's his whole post is so retarded. Just put the whole thing in context. I think this guy's bad. accusing me of being unfair. Okay, wouldn't you say that was pretty obvious? The better team won. Wouldn't you say that was better obvious? What made you admit that? I don't know, being honest. The fact you couldn't think of some other lame excuse. Okay, let me get this straight. I'm sorry, I have to say, I have to, let me get this straight. I have been nothing but complimentary. I even said my own coach got outcoached by Peter Moore, right? And I couldn't come up with some lame excuse, right? So if I get there and said the devil sucked and the referees screwed us and this, if, if Dubinsky hadn't been on the team uh, uh, the whole series and the, the, we went by the devils, I didn't use any excuses. I said what I thought was the truth and I'm an asshole. You sound like a bitter Ranger fan. Well, what kind of fucking bitter Ranger fan sits there and criticizes his own team and compliments the one that beat him, especially a rival? What kind of asshole are you? Listen to the show. You should, uh, let's see, let's see, this, uh, you should have, you sound like a bitter Ranger fan who should have made a video when you weren't so emotional. I don't think I was terribly emotional. You, you, it, I was disappointed. It, it, this is why the whole thing is just stupid. It makes no sense. It's like, he wanted – this is what he did. He watched our show. He saw what we said. He was pissed off that we weren't over-emotional, and he just he just did it in his head the way he wanted it to go, and then he commented like it actually happened that way. Yeah, I know. That's called delusional, yeah. asshole. Yeah, yeah. So you can't you – can't, see, you don't know how to, you don't know how to critically think because they don't teach that in New Jersey public schools. Believe me, I know. And what happened is you, I clicked on this, and you're thinking to yourself, all right, I'm going to listen to this guy whine and cry and, and make all sorts of excuses, and then when it didn't happen – you know, know you just you made it happen. Let me tell you something. What, what do I do? I don't, well, know yeah, do. I don't know. I don't know. Let me tell you who you are. You ever go to a bus station, right? And you listen to a guy and you tell him something, and you have a conversation, and nothing seems to kind of like click. And you go to yourself, God, Jesus Christ, I must be a rocket scientist because everybody I talk to is so stupid. You're that guy. You are that dumb. Yeah, you cannot like, even like listen playing. to somebody talk and understand what they're saying. You only hear what you have to hear. But I, I if you're a dude, I swear to God, the woman that marries you has got to be a freaking saint because you're so stupid. It's like playing darts with Michael J. Fox. Nothing is hitting the board. Nothing. Nothing. Actually, he's got a better chance. And at least yeah. you want to hang out with Michael J. Fox because he's a good guy. This guy's it. And you got a Napoleon complex as well. I'm sorry nobody cares about your team. I'm sorry that you have four Stanley Cup visits, three Stanley Cups, and nobody cares or even thinks about you in the hockey Lexus beard. All right? Well, the only thing anybody knows about the, uh, the Devils is Martin Bodor. And the only thing I think about is the fact that he married his, uh, you know, his sister-in-law's brother. So yeah, sister and they're about yeah. to become irrelevant again because Bodor is more than likely going to retire yeah, know, after this know, season. Exactly. You know, who heard of the New Jersey Devils in, 19, uh, in 1988? Wait a minute. They went to this fucking Easter Conference Finals in, in 1988, and nobody cared. And you can't stand it. You know what? The Rangers didn't do anything to you. The Rangers didn't, the Ranger fans didn't do anything to you. It's you. Yeah, you, and you. you won, asshole. You won the you series. Won. Be happy, be you joyful. Won. You won, and you're calling me a sore lover. You're calling me bitter. You know what? All right, I am emotional now. Fuck you. How about that? You, <laughs> fuck you, uh, uh, your mother, your sister. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And, uh, whoa. Oh, no, 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 no. I can say Let's what I want. Let's not fuck mothers here. Yeah, not, maybe not this guy. I mean, I, I don't know. I yeah, wouldn't want to have an offspring like you. On your side, but fuck you, pal. Really? So you know, you go kiss my ass. Hey, good luck to your team. And I got to be honest with you. I got Dave. Not all Devil fans are this stupid. Believe me. I, well, I don't know. I, I I hope not. Do you want me to go ahead and put them put this guy in the same boat as all Boston fans? I can kick him out of the the circle as well. No, because well, being a Boston fan is a lot cooler because it's got a great history. You know. That's true. Even though there's they're, they're a bunch of fucking. Oh. There's a black guy playing hockey. Oh, uh, man. Wicked, I can't take wicked it. Wicked hardcore. Wicked hardcore. I got I to gotta get on Twitter. I got to get Twitter. Twitter. Uh. got to tweet each other, Bob. Hey, Bob, will tweet. 
How, how's that different than, uh, you know, saying, hey, you know, team played well. They're a better team. Yeah. I hate yeah. that guy. A troll, oh, right. a troll is a troll is a troll. <laughs> oh, God. You hear that? You hear that? You hear that? That's, that's what I think you. It's on the back of my throat. You punk. What kind of bridge, dickhead? Yeah, really, really. You know? Hey, guess what? You might win this year, and nobody will care. Uh, I'm no, sorry. No, no. I'm no, sorry. I'll tell you, you're not winning the, <laughs> cup, in the cup this year. Yeah, you have to be worried about making the playoffs next year yeah, sure. because Kovalchuk's going to be a year older. Yeah. Bro, if he doesn't leave the game, mm -hmm. and then Brodor is more than likely out the door even if he doesn't retire. Yeah. You guys may not make the playoffs next year, asshole. Think about that. Think the Rangers that. are going to make the playoffs. Oh, that's guaranteed. You know it. You know the Rangers are going to make the playoffs. Even if they don't make any moves, which they will. Yeah. They, which they will because they have a fan base that supports them, and they take that re revenue, and they can spend it on players, and your team can't no matter how many Stanley Cups they win. Big market, small market. Yeah. Big market, small market. Oh, have a podcast. You, you stab your own state in the back. You won't root for the Devils. Can you see why? I, I grew up with assholes like Mr. B's and back in Jers. He's a, a guy who wants to be a part of something like this. Not me. Not me. I don't know. I, nope, I, I'll, just, I'll just have fun razzing on him instead. <laughs> oh, God. Cough away from the microphone. Oh, God, I know. Cough away. I want that phlegm for you. It's for you. Oh. For me? No, it's for that back in I was about to say, what did I, why do I get phlegmy? I don't know. Isn't That's that nice. poetic? I don't know. The Devils in 2013 didn't make the playoffs. And the New York Rangers, as much as they struggled in the 2013 season, the short season, did. How about that? How about all our predictions came true? How about everything we said was accurate on your knees? How about you just got owned hard, real hard? But that wasn't enough, was it? You got owned so thoroughly that you couldn't stop there. See, the other guy back in Jersey managed to move away. He found something better to do. Because he was so thoroughly embarrassed. But see, you're too stupid to know you were embarrassed to begin with. So, the story goes on, doesn't it? And here it is. You're listening to the best of A Shot to the Point. Wow. It's like probably like 89. I still have one episode, man. Wow, yeah, she's so hot, so hot. We're getting way off from hockey. <laughs> it's, it all relates. It sure does. Let's wrap up with the king. Um, Devils. It's over. It's over. The if, Devils... Let me tell you something. If they somehow turn this around, I'll root for them. Because I'd love to I, see something I like that. Why, why is that? You know, you know why. We both know why. Nope. I, couldn't, I couldn't root for this team those, now. Those guys hurt you, huh? No, they, 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 they pissed me off. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. Attack my views if you like. See, I was never. I don't attack my team, but I mean, my whole thing was they attacked me. You know, I mean, like, like my fairness or something. I don't know why I didn't give a shit, but I mean, yeah, they just they, they just call me fat. No, well, I mean, yeah, I mean, I know you can take that, but um, here's the thing. You know, I'm, I'm, me, I'm, man. I'm, 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 I'm gonna leave this. Uh, we're not hearing. I'm not. I was. I'll tell you a secret, Dave, and I'm, I'm telling this on the air now. But uh, they, um, they were contact. Uh, one of them on your knees had been contacting me uh, outside uh, privately. On yeah. YouTube, yes, yes, and uh, something happened. I, you are disabled, fat, and I was listening. I mean, I look. I know you can take a bull busting about being fat, but as far as like being able to get her out and walk around, I know that that goes right. That hurts, and I just I didn't want it to go that way. And this is kind of my idea for anybody just to kind of get into it with these guys, so because I thought it'd be fun and it would just kind of create controversy and what have you. It got a little, a little more out of control than I thought because my friend I thought could actually be hurt. You can pretty much say whatever you want about me, but Dave's got issues. So what happened was I deleted, hopefully, when he said something about you being able to walk, I deleted it, praying that you wouldn't be able to see it. You know, I didn't see it. Actually, I, that's, this is the first I've known about this. Okay. All right. I deleted it, and I, I wrote him. Well, he, he, he made reference to my service? Uh, no, no, nothing to your service. Just like, you know, going to the gym or something like that. Which I oh, yeah, I saw you, that. You couldn't possibly do if you wanted to. And uh, you did see that. All right, so I tried to clip that, and I, I wrote to him. I didn't curse. I didn't swear at him or anything. And I wrote to him. I was like, look, just turn your attention to me. Call me an asshole, whatever. And I was like, just uh, – you, you can call him fat. Just, you know, 
leave that. I mean, I leave that one. Leave, I know you can. About. I know you can. But I, now I'm like, I'm like, and I didn't curse. I didn't say anything rude. I just said, look, you know, you know, take it. You know, just, just focus on me. Just leave that one off the table, please. You know. Well, I appreciate. So it. I got. I got. Um, well, a lot of this is my fault because you know this is me. Well, the funny thing is, I, I got to... involved to take it off of you. <laughs> no, I didn't want you. See, I don't want it. You let these bastards at me. I don't care. I like it. I like it, but I didn't. I didn't. I didn't think that it would hurt anybody else. So anyway, well, I didn't think it was gonna go that personal on me. You know, I thought we were busting each other's balls on views and stuff. Yeah. And then he went completely personal, basically because he has nothing to say. Of course, and we haven't heard from him. But uh, I, I think we're never gonna hear from him again because I wrote him back and I said. Uh, Look, like I said, get, lay off. Let's 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 end this. Concentrate on me. I want you to keep cursing and swearing at me, but just point it towards me. Not not that particular. Yeah, you know, he. I said he got hurt in Iraq, and I got a a, a response from him, and uh, it said, "Prove it." What? And I I got really upset. So uh, I I decided to prove it for him. I told him you got hurt fucking his mother, and <laughs> if uh, if you wanted proof, look for the belt on top of her dresser. And I haven't heard from him since, and that was after oh, the game shit. too. So let me tell you something, guy. You fuck with me or my friends, whether it's on air or that this is what you got. You can't even come to listen to this anymore because you're so thoroughly embarrassed. We took you out. You're a punk. And just remember it. And we're done with this, and we're going to move on to uh, other hockey business. See you later, Bigger punk. and better things. I'm better than you. I'm smarter than you, and I'll take you out, you fucking punk. Okay. That's it. My hero. Yeah. All right. Oh, Popeye. Yeah, whatever. whatever. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you fatso. <laughs> <laughs> what? I can't get a laugh for that? <laughs> I laughed. I laughed. Okay. You need me to laugh louder? Don't compliment me. Do you need me to Ed McMahon it up here? Sometimes. I oh. think. There you go. Listen, uh, we talked about a little bit about Tim Th Thomas the other day, and, uh, you know, we kind of gave him a little love fest. You know, I just thought about something. The best part of dealing with these two jackasses was by the time me and Dave really got to this point when they started their little war against us, the Devils are down 0-3. That's what you get for running your mouth, of course. The Devils would eventually go on to lose in six. They would stretch out the series a little longer. But legendary Jake, who's a Devils fan and uh, a shot from the point point man, said it's almost better when your rival goes on to, like, Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Final and blows it. It's much funnier, and it hurts a lot more than just not making the playoffs or getting eliminated in an early round. And that's kind of exactly what happened to the Devils. As for these jackasses, I sent them personal notifications. I said, look, you're more than welcome to come on. And, of course, they both dipped out. I think, if I remember correctly, uh, On Your Knees threatened to come on and then he flipped out and what have you. The other guy back in Jers um, ended up, and I didn't send him any, uh, as far as personal was concerned, I didn't send any FUs or, or, or anything personal attacks on my private message. I said, look, you come on and you defend yourself. And all he gave with this whimpering, you know, you shouldn't say gay. You know, my team's brought more joy to me than your team's brought to you. And that music collection's not mine. Well, you know what? I'm pretty much willing to bet it was. On Your Knees 14's whole view is, and this is going to be difficult to explain because it doesn't make any sense, yeah. is that I am a biased, idiot, Ranger, over-emotional Ranger fan because I was so gracious yeah. in their, in their uh, victory over the Rangers because yeah. I couldn't think of anything nasty to say because it was so impossible to say anything nasty. You were so beleaguered, beleaguered but, uh, you were so messed up. There we go. That's better. Uh, you were so messed up by the loss that you decided to be nice and curt about the entire thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, I have no record on the internet of total honesty. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I mean, but I don't have any record of the internet of being dishonest either. So, I mean, that's his argument. That's ridiculous. Uh, someone is gracious and sportsman like when they're beat by a big rival. And that is actually a rouge for being something other than you are. I think if I was a prick, I'd probably act like on your knees 14. I'd probably just say a bunch of random shit and, uh, see, the guy's a doorknob. I mean, that's really... He's dumb as a rock. He's been invited on. He's obviously not going to take it. It's over. You guys are irrelevant. Why would I come on where no one can hear me? Well, oh, 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 oh. I'll, I'll keep posting. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'd anyway, your keyboard. That, that's so. not guy. That guy's not the one that interests me. The other interest was the back in jurors thing. And I, I do apologize to him on this one because 
I deleted it by accident, but I was going to read his excuses um, uh, for 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 his uh, music selection. He he had he had <laughs> he had excuses. So what what he told me was this. He told me that uh, um, what he in this part it actually might be true. He said that the the mourn comment, the mourn to make you mourn comment, uh, was actually he was quoting me. I'm assuming through some kind of Twitter thing that I put out there. Uh, that he was like making fun of my misspelling. Uh, I gotta be honest, with you, that might be accurate. <laughs> <laughs> and if it is, kudos for him because that's a good catch. I, I suppose, but I thought it's him that couldn't spell because if you remember when we recorded that show, when we recorded that show, yeah, you uh, busted I, on him about the whole Morn thing. Well, I, 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 I did mention Morn, but when I sent it through Twitter, I think I think I sent it through uh, Stanley Cup or NHL or something. I don't know. He said where he got it. I didn't pay attention. Uh, obviously that closely, but uh, what I did was I sent it out, and I may have made some kind of typo. So he was goofing on my typo when he when he left. So that may or may not be true. As far as his uh, his uh, explanation for uh, uh, well, I mean, let's let's take a guess. What was his explanation for uh, listening to Adele? In he your... was menstruating. Well, close. Um, he claims that it was his wife that. That, that actually looked up all that stuff. She doesn't have her own YouTube account. Um, the fact it's that it's so all... hard to start your own YouTube account. Yeah. Well, why would why would you favorite something on somebody else's account? I don't I don't really get that. Well, first and... we'd have let, let's look at this a little deeper because first we'd have to accept his premise that he's married. Yeah. And then we'd have to accept the premise that his wife just likes things on his Facebook. I I don't know. It sounds like a little bit of uh, menstruation bullshit to me. Sure. And he, he took, I think he took exception to the fact that I said, well, he said I, I said that it was gay. No, no. That's not true. I said it was gayed up. up. You know, yes, gayed up. Difference. Big difference. Yeah, I, and I don't mean gay like you're gay. I, I guess I mean gay in the sense that uh, it's extremely effeminate, and it's an effeminate music collection. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> His music selection is something that someone would be listening to while getting bent over and ringed by a guy sure. named Marco. Sure, sure. You know, why not? You know, it seems like, you know, that'd be the one for me. <laughs> yeah, if I were to go that way, that's what I'd be listening to. Huh. So no offense. You know, it puts love in the air. Exactly. And, all right. and, and the, the next thing... Men listen to Barry White when we have sex. So, so he, he explains off his, uh, his lack of... Um, well, I don't know if it's lack, but it, it, the fact that that really wasn't his music collection. And then he goes on to tell me that his small market team has brought him more joy in all the years, the, the few years that they've been around, I think it was 1981 or 80, <laughs> that they've been around, the Devils, a little over yeah. 32 years, than my team has been around in all, what was it, 75 years or so, or 80 years this year or something. <laughs> so they've brought me him more joy than the Rangers could have ever brought me in, in my lifetime. Well, I don't know, it's like, first he's telling me he didn't pick those songs, but then he's, I mean, do you measure joy in your <laughs> He has a joy meter. He has That's... a joy meter. I, I, I don't know. Like, you should patent that, by the way. I don't know. If I dig something, I don't say, boy, that was a 10 in my book. You know? <laughs> <laughs> happy, happy, joy, joy. I, I, I don't think I've ever done that. I'm like, you know what? It's great that the devils make him feel that way. It yeah. gives him, it, it's great that, it gives that he gets that first date tingle inside every time you watch Martin Brodeur take <laughs> the ice. I, I think that's fantastic. Sure. Usually, like, if I see a good Ranger game... Or even a good hockey game, like we saw last night. I say, gee, Andy, that was a good hockey game. Yeah. And then I move on. <laughs> yeah. No, like, I, don't, I don't say, boy, on a joy meter, that was a 10. No, this guy, he watches hockey while drinking a cup of wine, a nice glass of wine, and he's relaxing in a bath. He probably, Cal gone take me away while he's watching the, watching the Devils. Oh, my God. Joy meter. He put me more joy. <laughs> and then he wants me to believe he doesn't listen to Adele. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he listens to when they lose. So he's got to be just cranking the Adele right yeah. now because he's feeling all kinds of pain. <laughs> because He doesn't want me to believe he doesn't that, listen to Adele, but he's, you know, he, he rates joy. Well, sir, the Rangers bring me joy too. Yes, just not, not, not in my pants. Yeah. Uh, the black. I love my Blackhawks, but they don't. They don't make my neck hair tingle. I don't need aromatherapy. Yeah, 
doesn't make my pinky toe curl. No, it doesn't. <laughs> but it's okay. You know, it, had, I'm done with these assholes. But yeah, if he is listening to a lot of Adele, it's probably because of what happened mm. last night in the real world. Sure, sure, sure. Hold on, though. I, I got one more thing to say about okay. the situation. And then I think. These guys, they're examples. And you said the reporter in Chicago, just or that guy in PTI just brought up the same reason. I guess he's a he's from Brooklyn or something, and he has this, he, he kind of likes arranges for the same reason I do. Or he's from New Jersey, right? Who, who are he's, you talking about? He's, he's, it's Tony Kornheiser, and he's from, he's from the, the region. Oh, he's from my area. Okay. Yes. But the Devils are inaccessible. Um, their fans are, in, in my experience, tend to be rich. They're, they tend to, they tend to grow up in like rich areas like a, you know, like Old Bridge in Marlboro, New Jersey, and you know places where I'm not knocking people that have money, but those are the guys that were like actually able to afford to play hockey. Yeah. Whereas the Rangers, you know, anybody can be a Ranger fan. You know, and the Devils kind of a lead thing, and then you had to pay a little extra. Whereas MSG came with regular cable, it came with basic cable. Well, yeah. For me, I think it's just kind of the whole this whole thing where the country at large is kind of in agreement that it's hard to like anything from New Jersey. Uh, I, mean, I guess so. <laughs> this guy on your knees, fourteen. You've made me actually like my good friend Tommy C less because I know where he's from, and it's the same place. You've tainted him. You're you're helping taint New Jersey even more. See, I, I don't feel and, any different because I know where I'm from. And he's probably getting excited because I use the word taint. Yeah, but that's okay. Absolutely, that's okay. Take some bath salts. That's yeah, all say <laughs> eat a whole bunch of them. After you know, eat, eat some eat some bad salts. But I think this is an example for these guys are Ranger haters. They're not Devil fans. They're Ranger haters. You know, not all Devil. I'm no Devil fans. I do know Devil fans. There's a guy Chris Martin on my. Facebook page, and we used to go drinking over JJ Biddings and Woodbridge. I don't know why I gave them a plug. I hate that owner, but uh, <laughs> I used to love going there. And we, we talk about music and hockey and all sorts of stuff. And you know, he's a really great guy, and he puts some funny stuff on his website. And you know, he's a Devil fan. He loves the Devils. Yeah, you know, he roots against the Rangers too. Like, he loves the Devils. Devils come first. Yeah. You know, these guys are just, they're just Ranger faders. They have Napoleon complexes. They're they're not even big hockey fans. I mean. The only reason I've been talking about the Rangers as much as I had is because they were in the Eastern Conference Final. Yeah. And I think that's fair. You know, it's, I, it's very fair, and that, that's why the whole conversation is retarded. Yeah. You know, I come from one of the oldest rivalry in all of sports, yeah. Bears and Packers. It doesn't get more historic than that. It's, sure. one, of the, it's one of the most sto- – uh, Red Sox, Yankees, Bears, Packers, you know, and then, and then it's others. Mm, that's true. I, I, I hate the Packers. Can't stand them. But I don't – care about them either you yeah. know i don't talk about them if the bears are losing and the packers are you know when the packers won the super bowl the other year i didn't i didn't go out of my way to to hate the packers said good good for them good for aaron Rodgers. yeah you guys are a bunch of douchebags really we get over yourself yeah <laughs> really, really and it's kind of pathetic i don't know what it says about us that we've we've given them over 10 minutes of airtime on this show we're but, a bunch of douchebags too. But yeah, we, I don't think we're as big a douchebags as that. No, no, I think we're we're on a if if there's a well if there's a joy meter then there's a douchebag meter and they're tens and we're probably six and a half sevens. Well, I'll, I'll put a poll on Facebook tonight to see who's the biggest douchebag. <laughs> big, biggest douchebags. Actually, they know me. They know them, so I'm pretty sure they'll pick us. But yeah, that's okay though. Yeah, it won't but, be the first time that I've been called a douche. So sorry. Yeah, no, no, but you know, you you've been accused. I think uh, we have evidence here. Yeah. Yeah. All righty. Enjoy it, Del. The, the number one reviewer over at Chaos Hour, and he's too good for me. Well, guess what, buddy? I'm your big brother. You make time for me. Make time. He dipped out. He dipped out. He did the dip. Fuck your mouth. He okey doke me. Okey doke me. He okey doke you. But the, the last thing I got is everyone be, beware of bath salts. Other than yeah. that. Unless you want a really interesting type. Also, there's some kind of freaking Miami zombie prank that's floating around the internet going viral. I suggest checking that out. Maybe I'll put that link for that. Prepare yourselves for the inevitable outbreak. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, that's been it. That's a shot from the point. I think we hit our hour spot. We covered just about everything and way more than we probably should have. I'm Tommy C. This is Dead on Dave. And uh, on your knees, that's me. And I'm under your skin. Sorry about your team, buddy. No, I'm not. not. No, I'm not. not. That's me. That, Sweep. That's what happens when you run your mouth. You, you embarrass run your yourself. mouth, karma gets you. You embarrass yourself. 
In fact, we didn't talk about that, Dave. I think one of the reasons the Devils weren't able to overcome Los Angeles' forecheck was because on your knees ran his mouth too much and karma's a bitch. Karma bitch slapped his tail. All right. Well, I'd like uh, to think that karma fought for me here. I know, I know you did, my friend. That's when you, that's when you make fun when you make fun of people. That's what happens. But I know you're not the balls to listen to this. And if you had that weird, uncomfortable feeling, that's me. That itch, that's me. I'm under your skin. 